Good morning everyone. Today I am going to read a book named Gulliver's Travel by Jonathan Swift. Gulliver's Travel Chapter 3 Gulliver's Pocket by Searcher. The country around appeared like a garden with small fields, flower beds and woods. The town seemed like a painted picture. At the order of the emperor, anonymous quantities of food and drink were supplied to me. He himself supervised his dispensation. The emperor was taller than his subjects by almost the breadth of my nail. Everyone, including the royalty, came to see me, but nobody was very brave to come towards me. The council of ministers and the emperor did consider starving or poisoning me. They dropped the idea guessing that the huge rodent carcass would have caused a plague. I was kind to several ducks who tormented me but did not give them any punishment except scaring them away. At last, the king was moved by the magnanimity, so he decided to treat me well. More comfort were ordered to me. Many persons were deputed to look after my needs. The king ordered his teachers to teach me their language. My gentleness and good behavior had gained so far on the emperor and his court and the army. The fear of the people began to kiss. My friendship gave them ease. Two officers searched my pocket and they listed the contents. Even though the Lilliputans did not know the use or value of the contents in my pocket, they were taken away to be returned to me at a later date. One private pocket was escaped from their search. There I kept my spectacles and a small telescope. I won my freedom, so I tried to win the friendship of the natives as I had learned their language as well. I entertained by the king with several of the country shows. My petition for liberty were agreed at by the king's court. For that, I had to fulfill certain conditions prescribed by their laws. I agreed to it and my chains were unlocked. Thank you.